And your company is increasing its use of AI for a broad range of customers in retail, logistics, also healthcare. We just mentioned CVS and Walgreens as two of those customers. How do you view those AI safeguards announced by the Biden administration today? Yeah, I think it's important we continue to safeguard the use of AI. Um, we've been using it to deliver up, you know, AI technologies for some time across almost 50 different applications and, you know, leveraging AI and everything from navigation within autonomous mobile robots to, you know, um, production planning uh, for our customers, um, allowing it to be able to use uh, optical character recognition, uh, machine vision, product recognition. So there's been lots of traditional uses of AI that have been used for, for some time now. And we continue to invest in product and solutions to allow our customers to digitize and automate their environments, become more effective and more efficient in businesses every day. And gener generative AI adds another dimension to that, right? Is allowing right. you to, to be able to create, you know, and look at unstructured data, allow you to look at uh, and generate um, working assistance to those frontline workers. We think about empowering the frontline of businesses, what Zebra does. And generative AI is a way to be able to enable that worker, to be able to assist, okay. to be able to make your most experienced worker and the, and the experiences they have and the knowledge they have and give it to a broader um, workforce across your business. So, Bill, you're, you're really focused on the innovation and the opportunity when it comes to AI. But again, the Biden administration really focused on the safeguards um, for your business, not so much consumer facing, but still, are, are you worried that there might be some risk when it comes to using AI in your business and your customers data? Yeah, I think that, you know, individual customers will use the broader models, right, the, the you know, for AI, but then about be able to protect their own data, right? That's really important. So it's important that ultimately our customers are saying, how do I leverage the models of AI and the large language models and generative AI? But how do I do it with my data and how do I continue to protect my data within those models? And I think that's really the use case that our customers are seeing is that, um, a broad set of knowledge base that they gain from using the model, but then using it specific to their, you know, um, their workforces to be able to take their information and data and be able to leverage that, leverage the broader model, and then be able to create things like sentence structure, look at, you know, imaging and others, um, and leverage those techniques, but specific to their data and that their data is protected. That's really important to our customers. All right, let's focus on some of how your customers are going to be able to leverage your AI capabilities. Um, what opportunities do you see when it comes to AI and logistics and retail? Um, obviously, we have a strike with UPS coming up. I know that doesn't directly impact your business, but it is going to raise the cost of logistics. Are your customers asking you to use AI to reduce costs, to speed up deliveries, to speed up inventory management? What's the number one request for your customers? Yeah, I think overall our customers would say, I want to digitize and automate my environment, right? And, and automation means being able to do things like opt optical character recognition, right? Reading a label and be able to digitize that to give it a digital voice. It means using autonomous mobile robots inside their environments and be able to learn the environment and be able to navigate. It means be able to do product inspection quickly um, and be able to look at defects and figure out and learn and train the model quickly. All those are AI techniques, um, product recognition, being able to okay. recognize a product and be able to do things like self-checkout more easily that I can recognize fruits and vegetables and make a shelf checkout inside a retail store more effective and more efficient for customers. So all the okay. simple use cases we think about, you know, generative AI gets a lot of hype today. Um, but Sir, It does you know, get a lot of hype, Bill. So it gets a lot right? of hype. Um, right. I know, again, I know you made your, your own AI announcement, but I just want to focus on just more of the analog, analog side of the business right now. We've heard a lot about inventory destocking. You have a lot of unique insight into the inventory situation. Are you seeing your customers building back up their inventory or are they still trying to keep it very lean? Yeah, I think you're seeing, you know, our customers overall lead times of, you know, uh, um, all kinds of goods and services are, are coming down and, and being able to be more, you know, available. And I think that, you know, that, our customers had a lot of inventory, you know, um, on order, and now they're trying to figure out, you know, in the past it was about, you know, could I get the inventory is, is the scarcity through COVID. Now it's about making sure they have the right levels of inventory. And I think of things like track and trace, being able to have visibility across the entire supply chain is where Zebra helps them out. So it's not just inside a retail store and what's your inventory okay. there, but what's the inventory in a distribution center? What's the inventory um, being shipped to me and on the way? as it shift from the manufacturer and that visibility, that track and trace, then the condition of those goods 
as they you know arrive um, okay. within a retail store is really important to our customers. So I think it's finding the right inventory level now, Frank.